तदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा नमः प्रणवाय शुद्ध ज्ञानकमूर्त निर्मलाय प्रशाताय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ओंकारूनमकंदर संपिबंत अध्यात्मृंगमीतलभाग्यशृंग आनंदपूर्णमतिम प्रतिम प्रभाव श्रीचिन्मय गुरुवर हृदय भावयामी उम्मीलदाबुजदलायत मुग्ध नेत्र उत्तप्त निर्मल सुवर्ण सामन गात्र उन्द्र भक्त जन मन सराज हंस श्री चिन्मय गुरुवर हृदय भावयामी आयाम रम्य भुजदंड गभीर रूप मयांदकार विवारण भद्रदीप मुद्रा दरिद्रकुणावरुणाधिवास श्रीचिन्मय गुरुवर हृदय भावयामी आवल्य मंजुल मुदस्मित कांतिपुर विस्मताखिल पदान तुख भारम आताम्रशोभन परीचद संवृतांगं श्रीचिन्मय गुरुवर हृदय भावयामी रिक्तान सार वचनामृत जनु कन्या निशेष दौत भव किष मुन्नताीकंडमंडित मनोज्ञ विशाल पालम श्री चिन्मय गुरुवर हृदय भावयामि भुवन प्रति प्रशात अध्यासित परम मंगलवाणया श्रीमत्तपोवन तपोधन शिष्यवर्य कल्याण शीतल कटाक्ष निरीक्षण तापत्र प्रशमन परम सुधीर प्रज्ञानवारीतरंग विहार लोल श्रीचिन्मय गुरुवर हृदय भावयामी साक्षात्कृत प्रणव सार मुदार भाव संसार घोर तर कानन दी चिन्मय गुरुवर भावयामी श्री चिन्मय गुरुवर भावयामी भीषास्मा पवते भीषो देती सूर्य 
ಭೀಷಾಸ್ಮಾದ್ರಶ್ಚ ಮೃತ್ಯುರ್ಧಾವತಿ ಪಂಚಮ ಇತಿ ಥ್ರೂ ಫಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಬ್ಲೋಸ್ ದ ವಿಂಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಫಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಮ್ ರೈಸಸ್ ದಿ ಸನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಫಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಫೈರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೂನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ದಿ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಡೆತ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ದೇರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಿನಾಮಿನಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಪೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲೂರಾಲಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಂಡ್ಲೆಸ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲಿಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೀಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎ ಗೋಲ್ಡನ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೂನಿಫಾರ್ಮಿಟಿ in as much as its uh, external jigsaw puzzle follows a definite law in its moment to moment existence and activity there is certainly a concord that runs through the noisy discord of the world there is a silent rhythm imperceptibly running through the endless variety of confusing movements seasons similarly follow one after another rhythmi- uh, rhythmically each object in the universe strictly conforms itself to its own nature there are uh, there are the natural natural laws which strictly follow all scientific observations the sun is never dark the moon is never hot fire is never cold a cow begets no lion a tigress begets no bird the innumerable laws of instincts and emotions observed among the vegetables animals and human lives are all strictly pursued everywhere in nature a law is always promulgated by a law giver and wherever we find strict adherence to the law it is always because of fear of the law giver similarly if in nature we find that the natural laws are irrevocably declared and strictly followed certainly we have to assume that behind the phenomena of nature there is a definite law giver who strictly executes the law he is ever standing as it were just behind nature with a raised whip threatening all with total annihilation at the simplest disobedience this idea is brought out by the shruti in order to establish the supremacy of the spirit over matter uh, and also its dynamism in it also this declaration conclusively pro- proves that the spirit is not a non existent non entity but an existent reality which can, uh, can be courted and experienced as full as bliss omnipotence and omniscience the truth indicated in the beginning of the chapter as satyam gnanam antam um, though invisible incorporeal undefined and aboreless is the source of all dynamic life and is the existence principle mm-hmm. five main observations are made here by the shruti such as the movement of the air the movement of air <coughs> the rising of the sun the heat of the fire the light of the moon and lastly the very principle of decay and death that sustains the perishable nature of a finite world called death all of these indicate that the entire phenomenal world is not a haphazard idle dream of a madman but it is an intelligent scheme ordered by a dynamic divine power which executes its will very strictly and fully through its established laws of behavior and reaction this is a vaidika him quote this is a vaidika him quoted in support of the previous mantra which declared that he also rediscovers the spiritual center becomes fearless because he thereby becomes the very truth whose dictatorial sovereignty is the irrevocable sanction behind nature's laws this declaration of the rule of the spirit over matter is followed up in this section by a narration of the various joys experienced in the different realms in this comparative study of joy the teacher of taitriya tries to convey to the student of the quantitative and the qualitative conception of the infinite joy uh, which is the very nature of the self mm-hmm. so it's shloka vishasmat patav pavate that's a vaidika him yeah that is a rigveda oh. also because the rigveda ko- hymns are being quoted right when they were to say tadapyesha shloko bhavati and then the the rig vedha mantra rig mantra is quoted like in pre earlier also right like that here also so all the first uh, two lines are all coming from another veda into this upanishad yes boros so asadva idam agra asi so that is also coming from yes. another whenever it says tad apyesha shloko bhavati so that, that which follows that the next slow okay hmm. So I am 
that uh, fear is uh, something I'm trying to understand. Does it uh, mean that uh, there should be fear? Is that... I mean, it is just dramatizing it. Like, if you yeah, understand, that's what I also thought. means all the natural forces are functioning in order. It need not have to be fear, but out of it could be love as well. Yeah, that it is only a fear word is used because you don't understand that it is fear. But usually, when people also, when there is a traffic cop, we follow the rule, right? In that sense, everything functions, the natural forces and you know, fear tirelessly they work because of this adherence to the rule, rule of law. That is the fear. Yeah, I've seen people using cop word even for giving food to the kids. He's <laughs> coming. Eat your food. But Gnani, if he understands, there is no bhaya. It is so to, in that sense, when that last reason, the seventh reason, that bhaya hetu, Brahma asti, because both bhaya and abhaya karana. For Agnani, it is abhaya karana. But Gnani, ah, sorry, for Gnani abhaya, because he understands, because at, that Brahman is nothing but his Atman. So what is the bhaya? Bayam is there only when there is other. Right? For him, there is no other at all. Everything is merged in Atman. Right? The entire world is afraid. Right? Because there is an, always a fear, insecurity of the fear of death, immortality. Even death, it says Pancham Aiti Mrityur Dhavati. He is saying Dhavati means runs away. Even Lord Yama runs away <laughs> because of the fear of Brahman. <laughs> Brahman here means Ishwara, not the Nirguna Brahman. Maya Saita Brahman, Ishwara, we call it. So, even that Lord is running away. What about you mortals in, in that sense? <laughs> So that insecurity, it's, a, it's an emotion, right? It's all instinctive. It looks as though whole world is bhayam. All living beings are of in the state of fear, always insecurity, because they don't understand. So gnata atma is abhayaka. Gnata means once you understand it. Because Yama also is also a Jiva, in fact. He has become Yama because of the Punyam. He is also afraid. <laughs> what is Punyam? No, because of extraordinary Punyam, he has attained that position. Oh. All the Devatas. Yes. Yes, right. So once you understand, but even if you are a great scholarly person, person like Vidushaha, that's why Vidushaha is used earlier, the earlier mantra. But Amanva Anasya, you are not, you, you are not understood it, absorb the truth, the Advaita Tattvam, Amanva Anasya, even though you are Vidushaha, but if you see differences like others, like this is Tad Dvaitam, Dvaitam, they might be great scholars, but they always see differences. Dvaitam, Ishwara is somewhere, I am somewhere. That Advaitam, Tattvam, they didn't understand. So always there is fear for it. Even though you might be a great scholar. Hmm? Because Ishvara is different. You start with that, fine. God is... But you have to come to that state of Advaitam. 
As long as there is a two, there is a difference. If Ishvara is seen as something different, there is Bayam always. Amanvanasya. He doesn't know that Advaita Tattva. Okay. Then comes the Ananda Mimamsa. What is Ananda Mimamsa? Mm -hmm. Mimamsa means what? Which are inquiry. Mimamsa is inquiry, right? Yeah. Uh, inquiry, yes. So, what is inquiry for Ananda? What is why is it required? What 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 are we gaining by inquiring into Ananda? So basically, it says that ultimate Ananda, Rasa, the Brahmananda, is not something to be experienced. Like I experience like the objects in this world, right, and gain happiness. So Brahmananda is not something to be experienced in time. It is not experiential. So this, this Mimamsa, through this inquiry, we are going to establish it is not something, an object of experience. It is you, the very subject. But even whatever experiences that Vishayananda that we are having, that experiential pleasure, is only Brahmananda only. It is an avatar of Brahmananda. Okay? It is a very, it is a reflection. Pratibhimbananda, what we have is Vishayananda. Bimba, Bimbhananda means it is not to be experienced. Original. So to understand that, ah, so like there's a mirror. To understand, to not to understand, to see at my reflected face, I use the mirror, right? The reflected face in the mirror will help me in using certain transactions like, you know, I do, I do makeup, and whatever, to see, right? We make the reflect use the we use that reflection as a sadhana. Right? So that's here also that experiential ananda is also being understood as a sadhana to understanding Brahmananda. Okay? That inquiry we are going to do. So all the up to Hiranyagarbha, up to Brahmaji is Pratibhimbananda, reflection only. So we are using that to understand the Bimba, the original Ananda, which is Brahmananda. Okay. So highest Manushananda is initially taken as one unit, the basic unit. Highest Manushananda. With all possible pleasures imagined. All conducive situations, everything is conducive. That is one basic unit. Let me see what that basic unit is. Who wants to read that tab? Chant it and then read it. Krishna, you want to do? Krishna, go. Saishanandasya me magam sa bhavati. You are siat sadu. You are 
युवा साधु युवाध्याय अशिष्ठो दृष्टो आशिष्ठो दृढ़िष्ठो बलिष्ठ आशिष्ठो दृढ़िष्ठो बलिष्ठ तस्म पृथिवी सर्वा पूर्ण सूर्ण सैम पृथिवी सर्वा पूर्णा सो मनुष आनंद ते सत मनुष आनंद स एको मनुष्य गंधर्वाणंद श्रोत्रिय चाकामहत दि फॉलोइंग इज दि इनक्वरी कंसर्निंग द ब्लेस Brahmananda Rasa. Suppose there be a youth, good, well versed in the scriptures, well disciplined, resolute, and very strong. To him belongs all this earth full of wealth. This is one unit of human bliss. This unit of bliss of man multiplied by multiplied hundredfold is the bliss of human Gandharvas, and this is also the bliss of one. well versed in the vedas and who is free from desires mm -hmm. for any measurement we we must have a standard unit with reference to which we can make all our subsequent relative measurements in order to measure the joys of the various situations we need a unit of measurement the shruti first of all defines here the unit very clearly she says that the joy of an educated well disciplined mentally resolute and physically strong young man when he comes to possess the whole world and its wealth as his own his joy is the unit measure of human bliss in the definition of this bliss the scripture is also giving us indirectly the conditions necessary for true material enjoyment wealth in itself is no joy unless the rich man is young enough mere youthfulness dissipates itself with wealth unless the youth is well educated to live the healthy values of life mere knowledge and youthfulness cannot contribute to the enjoyment of wealth unless he is well disciplined and has a sufficiently developed will power one who has youthfulness education discipline and power of self control and self assertion who is strong in body mind and intellect he alone is capable of enjoying the wealth to all others wealth is an added burden weighing down their shoulders a donkey carrying golden bricks is in no way better or luckier than one carrying mud bricks the prarabdha of the pigs cannot be improved if they are housed in a prime minister's prime minister's own drawing room this being the unit of sensuous worldly joy which is to an extent within our comprehension the teacher of the taitiriya upanishad is trying to indicate the various types of joys in this in their quantity and quality relative to this unit mm -hmm. so how times the joy unit represented by this human bliss he says is the joy of human gandharvas the term gandharva indicates an artist the joy of a human artist in the moment of his inspiration when he comes to forget the entire world outside and becomes one with his tune or shape or rhyme or curve is the godly joy of a musician or a painter or poet or a sculptor the bliss is derived by a genius or an artist not by a trader in art not by an advertisement painter nor a film star or a kal kalakshepam musician the balakshepam musicians i mean time pass kalakshep huh. he, he has english is fired it <laughs> <laughs> he has what english fired it ah uh, 
So Kalak Shepam is a... just for time pass. Kalak. Yeah, yeah. We have it in Telugu, I know for sure, but I know, I know it must be there in some other local language as well. Yeah, I've heard it in uh, Tamil Malayalam also. I always interpreted it as uh, for um, time pass. For uh, no, I it makes sense. It is it is based off of Kalam. But yeah. I was thinking that Kalak Shepam. Uh, back back home we used to say that for uh, you know earning money not really committed to music but just to make some uh -huh. money out of it uh, could, yeah that, that meaning also there. that's how i was thinking and this was a little contradictory because if it is just for time time pass then he is really enjoying it right he is really he must be doing it really enjoying it so that is opposite to what he was trying to say yeah N not no, thing. it's not opposite, right? It's a collection of musician, he's not very serious about it. Oh. Okay. He's not a very serious guy. So he's not really enjoying it. He's like doing it just for time pass. Okay, he's not committed. He's not doing mm -hmm. a high quality thing. Yeah, he's not doing a high quality thing. He's just doing it for the sake of spending yeah. some time. Just because he got some free time instead of doing something else, he's just trying, trying to draw something. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. The bliss of a true self-dedicated devotee at the feet of Venus is explained here quantitatively as a hundred times more as a hundred times more than the sensuous joy of the young self-cultured man of true education when he becomes the king of a prosperous vast country. The joy of this inspired artist, which is equated with a hundred hundred joys of uh, the emperor is said to be by the Shruti, the joy of one who is a deep student of, of the scriptures and who has come to realize the goal indicated by Vedanta. Therefore, in his conscious experience of the allful nature, he has no more desires for the paltry things of the world. So, that one unit described. You have the entire wealth, the whole earth, and you are sadhu, you are virtuous, you are young. People may be young, but they not be virtuous. So virtue is also required to, right, to enjoy something. Sadhu, you are adhyayakaha. Right. But uh, did we not always consider that um, a pet dog in Buckingham Palace is better than a street dog? Mm. It, it has a better prarabdha that it is in, uh, in the hands of the queen um, than a stray dog uh, on the street. It certainly has more luxuries and more pleasures than a street dog which has to fight its uh, food every day. Right. So I so that's why I didn't understand this point. Like my donkey carrying golden bricks in no way better than the like are luckier than the one carrying mud mud bricks. Yeah, the, the donkey is a good example because of it's still the way it's still carrying the weight, right? It doesn't make any difference for the for the suffering. It's still that heavy weight it's carrying. If it is golden brick, how does it matter? It's still heavy. It's, it has to carry. Yeah, but, but the, look at the next one. The prarabdha of the pigs cannot be improved yeah. so, if they are housed in the prime minister's own drawing room. Yeah, the way I understood uh, that was, you know, if the if the pig is um, tied up, you know, uh, then it doesn't matter where it is tied up. Maybe the room is looking more beautiful or something, but it is still suffering. Yeah, if it is tied up, but if it is um, being kissed by the prime minister. <laughs> yeah. The dog example is uh, the, a little different, right? A street dog is not uh, cared for like uh, a dog in a prime minister's uh, house. Yeah. That's slightly different. But if it is something that is tied up for slaughter later, you know, then there is no difference. Hmm. I, th I thought it pig is a pig. No matter in a palace, in a something, any anywhere, pig is a pig. 
but from our point of view, not from Pig's point of view. Mm. <laughs> yeah, for a pig, if it is really treated well, then it makes a difference, right? If it is, if it is getting good food in a prime minister's house, it makes a difference. But yeah, I don't. She's considering herself case. to be a family member of the prime minister, right? She's yeah. not thinking herself to be a pig. Yeah, but I don't think that's what he's trying to explain. He's right. Talking. Still, it's a pig. Uh, no brain. No thinking at all. But pig is very smart. It is a pig. I think it's waste. one of the smartest animals, by the way. <laughs> Basically, this, that one unit is saying both your uh, internal wealth or values and also external circumstances also are required, is saying. And that is being created, defined as one unit of Ananda, hypothetical unit. Highest ananda possible for a human being. Hmm? So external as well as internal resources. Adhyatmika Adi Bhautika Sampak. Hmm? That's why Sadhu Yuva Adhyayaka. All these words are being used. Hmm? So what is the use of having the best of sense objects if you are not in a good frame of mind? So internal resources as well as Adhyayaka, literate also is, scripturally literate, is young, virtuous, sadhu, yuva, asishtaha, ambitious, with noble desires, dhridhishta, firm, with strong willpower and all those things. Okay. Balishtaha, good strength. Yeah, that is also another thing that I did not understand how so he alone is capable of enjoying the wealth. But I thought that there are quite a few older, sick people who are still having fun. Yeah, maybe. But they are not physically weak. They are not physically strong, but you know, they are, they are still people having you know a lot of wealth uh, and having enjoyment. But who knows if they're enjoying or not, but it's not perfect enjoyment. But uh, this is one basic unit is all these combined together. You have to be virtuous also. That sensual mm. restraint, you know, how when you have to restrain yourself. Enjoyment need not have to be, you know, always indulgence. But the, you know, you should know when sadhu, the virtue of restraint has to be. Mm. I think that youthfulness and other things are explained because that is. Um, Probably when you have least amount of uh, you know physical suffering right? mm -hmm. during that time, mm -hmm. so probably at the peak of uh, yes. human mm -hmm. physically. Mm -hmm. yep. So entire world is owned by him. His youth is virtuous. So that is imaginary basic unit. Consider that as one unit of Ananda. Then continues the, the Mimamsa. Hmm? So that Ananda, that reflected, reflected Ananda we are talking about, is, is it through gaining the object or through Vairagya? Right? There are two methods. You gain the object or you have the vairagya for the object. That, is, that will give you also the same ananda. But then the original, the bimbananda, brahmananda is only through jnana. But this pratibimbananda, that the graded ananda is through you either obtain it, which is a lot of competition, which is a lot of pain, you obtain it, fine. But the other method is vairagya, I say. Right? That's why that, key, that word is repeated every time. Shrotriyasya cha akamahatasya is not afflicted by that, not hurt, akamahatasya, uh, by the desire, is not afflicted. So, either through vishaya or through vairagya or through viveka, you, you through viveka and vairagya also, you can have this same vishayananda. And of course, the original the Brahmananda is through only Jnana. You understand 
yes i am that that is through gnana so eka that is eka sadhana sadhyam through gnana but the other one the vishayananda through either aneka sadhana sadhyam right So now Upanishad is saying 10 higher levels it talks starting from Manushya Gandharvananda, the first higher level, 100 units more, it says. 100 units more than that hypothetical imaginary Manushyananda, which itself is a, you know, an imaginary for a common man. 100 units of that is Manushya Gandharva and that is gained by this Manushya by Viveka, Vairagya and by just understanding the scripture, he's saying that hundred units. If you have that, Viveka Vairagya. Shrotriyasya cha akamahatasya. Okay. From there starts the inquiry. Hmm. It goes up to Brahmananda. Brahmananda means Brahmaji is Renyagarpa. You add 20 zeros to that, the tenth level. Hmm. Okay. Any questions? Fine. So, Akamahatasya is free from desire. Yeah. Akama. Hata, hata means the afflicted, hurt, or hit, hit by, in the sense, in that sense. Hata. He is not hit by the desire, right? Like something like in that sense. You oh, akama, papa. Ah, akama. Not hit. Akama. Hmm. So why is that said to be in between everything? Or does it hmm. uh... Right. So this same Manusha, hmm. if you have this Viveka and then this Vairagya, and then if you are well versed in the scriptures, the same ananda that these higher levels they are enjoying, the same thing you can have without going there, without obtaining that, without going to that place or without obtaining that object. Right? These higher levels of ananda is being mentioned. Right? You don't have to go there or obtain that vishaya just by viveka, just by vairagya. Hmm? By so, because so it's, that's what is being said, like Shatu Deva Gandharva Ananda, Eka Pitruna, Chiraloka, Aloka, Ananda. All these levels. All these levels. It's, each it's, level is 100 times more. And that level you can get by being here, just by Vairagya and by through understanding the scriptures properly. Ab okay? Absorbing the jnana. Because Vishayananda is not coming from actually Vishayam, actually also. In fact, whatever Vish Ananda we are thinking we are getting from Objects, Vishaya, is not coming from there. Actually, it is the Vairagyam only. In, in, if you really understand, even after acquiring, you are getting in, indirectly a Vairagyam for that. That itself, actually, they say, Vedanta says, that gives you happiness. Until you acquire, there's a lot of stress and strain. But after that, you, right? Oh, now I have it. That's it. Vairagyam. In fact, that Vairagyam for Vishayam only is giving the real honor. Yes. So this is, um, there is no word, this is implied, right? In that Srotriya um, Sichaka Mahatasya, it doesn't say that that person gets it. It says learned and... Um, yeah, it is impl impl yeah. implied. Yeah. Implied in the sense, you have to understand like that, yes. That person attains that same ananda of each level of the okay. levels that are being described based by having Vairagya and Shrotriyasya, well versed in scriptures. Yes.
Okay. So, person free from the desire, Akamahata. Then, Shrotriya. Shrotriya is Viveki. Who has studied the scriptures to become Viveki. An informed, detached person can get the same Vishayananda without getting that Vishaya. That's what he says. Okay. The whole economy will collapse in effect. <laughs> So, Vishayananda and Vairagya Ananda, little grey matter we have to use. That's it. Viveka you have to use. Vishayananda expensive. Okay. <laughs> but the, all these is for the Pradibhimananda, the graded levels. But then for the real, your real nature is Bhimbhana, the Brahmananda. How many methods are there for that? Only one method, Jnana. It's claiming. There's no getting that Bimbanam. Just claim, just who are that. That's it. Yeah. So Bimbananda, that's why the last statement, Sayas Chayam Purushi. Yes, Chasa Vaditya Sa Ekaha. That last portion is Bimbanam. So all is Gandharva, Indra, Prajapati, from all is a graded, diff different grades of Ananda based on the situations, based on the conditions. But then the Brahmananda, the Adhisthanam, Ananda is not graded, it is only one. And that is revealed by the Mahavakyam in the end. Continue. Chanti ji continue. Teeshatam manushya gandharvana manandaha Sayeko gandharvana manandaha Shrotriyasya hmm. uh, A hundredfold of the uh, bliss of human Gandharva is the unit of measure of the bliss of the celestial Gandharvas. This is the same as the bliss of one who is well versed in the Vedas and who is free from all desires. Uh, continuing the, com the comparative estimate of bliss, the Rishi of the Upanishad points out how a hundred times the joy of ins inspiration which a mortal genius can experience in the world of art is the joy con uh, contents of of an inspired moment of the heavenly artists. Traditionally, heaven is considered as that place of experience where all the joys of the world reach their climax in our imagination. The traditional belief is that life there is longer, health the better, the sense organs more powerful and the mind and the intellect more acute so that the in intensity of the enjoyments is sharper. The sense objects in heaven also have a greater potency of joy. Ne necessarily, therefore, the artist of the heaven must have a greater joy than the artist on the, of the uh, world. Here in the narration, it is said that joys of uh, celestial artists are a uh, hundred times more than the mortal artists of the world. Mm -hmm. Does it mean that an uh, artist's joy increases in its, uh, su in its uh, subtlety and uh, tempo by living a 
godly life of self-control, self-sacrifice, uh, and by uh, entertaining the divine values of the head and the heart. Even this joy of the celestial Gandharvas is equated with the joy experienced by a scholar of Vedanta who, uh, having experienced the theme of Vedanta, has uh, come to entertain no more desires for the finite world of objects. Yes. So, Manusha Gandharvananda is for that Manusha Gandharva. And that same thing is there for that Manusha if he fulfills the two conditions, Srotriya, Vairagya. Isn't it? Right? Huh? So, what is saying here? The next level we have seen, right? Yeah. So, basically, again, so imagination, higher locus, most of the things are normal, that's why. So, that's why the tranquility, the chitta prasadam becomes more. Because that priya moda pramoda vritti is they reflect the tananda more and more because of the tranquility. Because when the when the chitta prasada is more pratipimba, the reflection becomes more clear. Isn't it? So that's why. Everything is can be you know, normal in the sense. But here nothing is normal, right? For a manusha, we always adjust because we want to survive. Nothing is normal. So there in that imagined locus, everything is normal. So more happiness. Right? Mm -hmm. It's a next level is over. So with Manusha with Vairagyam for Manushyananda, what is the next level of unity will have? Manusha Gandharvananda. Right? Isn't it? Thousand hundred to the power hundred of ten. two. Ah. So hundred times hundred, right? Chandra. First is human. So that is basic unit. Um, hundred basic unit, then hundred Gandharva hundred. Manusha. Manusha Gandharva. Ah. Mm. Hundred times more than Manusha Gandharva is the the other Gandharva. Mm. Okay. So remaining in Manusha itself. If he has this both Vairagya and Shrotriyatvam, he gets 100 units of Manushananda and then each increases. And if he has Vairagya for Manushananda, then... One more 100. Ah, right. Right. So, whatever sense pleasure reject, you will get 100 times more sense pleasure by not enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. So far, we have got only pain, but. If something is denied, then. We felt disappointed. We never got hundred times. It was It represents adhyatma sampat. It has that jnana also has to be not blind by ragim, not a, no. right. So vairagyam is for the previous levels. So, Vairagya Adikyat, Ananda Adikya. Greater the contentment, greater the Ananda. Hmm. Okay. So, 7.30.
a few more levels and then i think next week we'll start rubble finally Seems fine. Hey, you should come. Mm. Finally, the conclusion again, Yato watch only Vartante a prop Pimanasasan. Same that we have seen earlier in Manomaya Kosha, also that came. Here also, it is used to describe the final Brahmanand. State of Gnani. Okay, we'll see that next week. All fine. Next Sunday, we have a function uh, program, I think. Diwali program, right? Damaka. Diwali Damaka. <laughs> At Balvihar? Balvihar, right. Uh, this Sunday, yes, yes. Uh, this Sunday, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, next Thursday is uh, Thanksgiving, Chandraji. Ah, yeah, yeah. Next Thursday, Thanksgiving. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll take off then. Okay. <laughs> next Thursday, no class. No. Vairagyam. <laughs> <Full Yeah>. Eating. <laughs> <laughs> You are traveling or no? Okay, uh, we'll see. Meet uh, then when uh, 20, 30th, huh? 30th, we'll meet. Okay. Om Sarvi Bhavantu Sukina Sarvi Santu Niramaya. Sarvi Badrani Vashantu Makas Chittukha Bhagavet Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om Tat Sat Hari Om Hari Om, thank you Thank you Chandra Happy Thanksgiving everyone, happy holidays Oh, thank you, thank yes, you. Yes, Same to you yeah. Yeah. Thank you.